Hi boys and girls, it's time for a story again, so kick off your shoes and relax the weight of the world off your shoulders. Maybe you've been working really hard today on your other schoolwork. Maybe you've been looking after your parents, who knows. Let's have a story and enjoy the afternoon together. This story is by Rod Clement and it is called Just Another Ordinary Day. Hmm. I'm suspicious of the title already. Just another ordinary day. Just another ordinary day by Rod Clement. It was the beginning of just another day. As the first rays of sunlight slid under the door, Amanda awoke to the sound of her alarm, which rang at 6.30 a.m. every school day. She took her time getting dressed because there were so many clips and buttons. Then she packed her books and pencils into her school case before flying downstairs for breakfast. She was never very hungry in the mornings. All she could eat was one boiled egg and two fingers of toast. Every morning she got a lift to school with Mrs. Ellsworth. Mrs. Ellsworth was the oldest person in the street and told amazing stories about life in the old days. She also drove the oldest car in the world, so they were never on time. Amanda hated being late for school. They made such a fuss about opening the school gate. She liked science with Mr. Wilson. He would often put away the books and spend the whole morning doing experiments. All seems quite normal. At lunchtime, Amanda discovered she hadn't packed her sandwiches. Luckily, she had just enough money to buy some lunch from the canteen. Mm, yum. Yum. Later, Amanda and her friends talked to Sue, the new girl, who told them stories about her home in a, far, in a land far away. In a land far That's Sue. away. In the afternoon, Amanda had library studies. She loved hearing Mrs. Billups read aloud from her huge collection of pirate stories. Tilly Wyman was caught chewing gum again and was sent outside. Mrs. Billups was very upset. When school was over, Amanda's mum picked her up in their off-road vehicle for the rough ride back home. Cool vehicle. When they finally arrived home, Amanda and her mum took a shower to wash off the dust. Her dad decided to cook a curry for dinner. As usual, though, it was just a little too hot. After dinner, Amanda curled up with a book and her cat, Fluffy, in front of the fire. Fluffy purred loudly on her lap. He loved a cuddle. It was the end of the day, just like any other ordinary day, but it was exhausting just the same. 
As Amanda drifted off to sleep, her father gently picked her up and carried her upstairs to bed. So that was Just Another Ordinary Day by Rod Clement. Seems like Rod Clement's a bit of a joker. It didn't seem so ordinary. What do you think? What do you think? <laughs> Thanks, everyone. See you next time.